Wait, that isn't what they looked like before. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV characters that were suddenly recast. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at various television characters that were abruptly recast for various reasons. Number 10. Reggie Mantle, Riverdale Reggie Mantle is a well-liked prankster, personal rival, and perfect foil to lead character Archie. In the first season of Riverdale, Reggie was a recurring character portrayed by Ross Butler. And while the creators and writers of the show wanted to use Reggie a lot more than they did, they were forced to significantly cut his role due to Butler's commitment to 13 Reasons Why. For the show's second season, Butler was replaced by Charles Melton, who had previously appeared in one episode of Glee and two episodes of American Horror Story Hotel. Number 9. Holly, Red Dwarf Holly is Red Dwarf's onboard computer, and unlike Hal or similar pieces of artificial intelligence, he appears as a disembodied human head on a black background. It's quite creepy. The nightmare guy. Chess. It can be anything, any game at all. Chess. Drafts, poker, anything. Chess. Sabuto, snakes and ladders. Chess. Monopoly, maybe, I'll let you go first. Chess! So you like a bit of chess, do you? For the first two seasons of the show, Holly's head and voice were provided by Norman Lovett. However, filming of Red Dwarf soon moved to London, and Lovett wasn't willing to move or commute. So he was replaced with Hattie Hayridge. In the show's universe, the character of Holly became infatuated with his female counterpart and altered his physical appearance to be based on hers. Number 8. Kristen Beth Baxter, Boyd Baxter, and Ryan Vogelson, Last Man Standing Turns out the show has a fitting title because a lot of its cast members dropped like flies after the first season. Mike's oldest daughter Kristen was originally portrayed by Alexandra Crosney. However, Crosney was fired for creative reasons and replaced by Amanda Fuller for the remainder of the series. Kristen's son Boyd was played by Luke Krunchev for the first season before being replaced by Flynn Morrison. And finally, Boyd's father Ryan was portrayed by singer Nick Jonas in a guest role before he was permanently replaced by Jordan Masterson. Presumably because Jonas wasn't committing to a 130 episode show. He is a busy man after all. But I'm just asking for a little compassion and maybe a little forgiveness. Number 7. Lori Foreman, That 70s Show Lori, Eric's loose and whiny older sister, doesn't make a lot of appearances, but when she does, there is bound to be gold. I'm wearing underwear. See? Hi. She was originally portrayed by Lisa Robin Kelly, who had a recurring role in the first season before she was promoted to series regular in seasons two and three. However, Kelly tragically lost a baby and fell into alcoholism, resulting in her diminished appearances after season three. Kelly was then permanently replaced by Christina Moore for the show's sixth season. Moore appeared in six episodes before Lori Foreman was finally written out of the show for good. Number 6. Harriet Winslow, Family Matters Harriet, the matriarch of the Winslow family, was famously portrayed by Jo Marie Payton for nine seasons and 200 episodes. It was a massive accomplishment which makes it all the more baffling that Peyton was replaced by Judy Ann Elder for the final nine episodes. She was so close to making it all the way. As Peyton explains, she had decided to leave the show two years earlier, as her heart wasn't in the role anymore and she, quote, wanted to do something else. Her departure hit her co-star Reginald Vell Johnson particularly hard, as he explained that it was like getting a divorce. Number 5. Spartacus, Spartacus we think we can speak for everyone when we say that cancer is a bitch. For the show's first season, Blood and Sand, Spartacus was portrayed by Andy Whitfield. However, Whitfield was diagnosed with cancer in March of 2010, and to give him time to seek treatment and heal, stars ordered a prequel series called Spartacus Gods of the Arena. However, when Whitfield failed to get better, he was replaced by Liam McIntyre, who portrayed Spartacus for the remaining two seasons. Whitfield tragically passed away on September 11, 2011, four months before the premiere of the second season. Number 4. Dario Naharis, Game of Thrones Game of Thrones has certainly seen its fair share of replaced cast members. Hell, the mountain has even been played by three different people. But perhaps the most jarring replacement was that of Dario Naharis. For three episodes of season three, Dario was portrayed by Ed Skrine, who rocked the long, luscious hair. 
My sword is yours, my life is yours, my heart is yours. However, Scrine left the show for ambiguous office politics and was replaced by Dutch actor Mikiel Hausman, who looks absolutely nothing like Scrine. But then again, this is TV, so we had to just go with it. Number 3. Jesus Adams Foster – The Fosters Jesus Adams Foster is Steph and Lena's son who suffers from ADHD and has a strong relationship with his twin sister Mariana. For the first 40-odd episodes, Jesus was portrayed by Jake T. Austin of Wizards of Waverly Place fame. However, he left the show at the end of season two for unknown reasons, ambiguously tweeting, quote, my time on the show has come to an end. Fortunately, there seemed to be no animosity with the show's producers and creators. He was replaced by Noah Centineo for season three, and he would go on to be nominated for a Teen Choice Award. Number two. Vivian Banks, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Well, at least this show had the sense of humor to address Aunt Viv's mysterious change in appearance. For 73 episodes, Aunt Viv was played by Janet Hubert. However, Hubert reportedly never got along with Will Smith, and she was subsequently let go from the show after three seasons. Thank you, Will. Hubert was replaced by Daphne Maxwell Reed, who would continue to portray Aunt Viv for the remaining three seasons. Since you had that baby, there's something different about you. <laughs> and unlike most shows, this change in actress resulted in a change of character, as Hubert's Vivian was career-oriented and tough, while Reed's Vivian was more family-oriented and reserved. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Shield yourself in the right materials and it becomes harmless. May Rao protect, protect us, us so, so that, that we... we Protect might protect others. others. So what did they do to you? All my friends died in Vietnam. All of them. Anyway, they concluded that Platt's theory was right on. There was deliberate sabotage, and the transport explosion was no accident. Futures, Chief. That's the way to go. Isn't that risky? Yeah, it can be, but the returns are huge. I made 15 thou last week. Number 1. Becky Connor Healy – Roseanne The case of Becky Connor Healy is certainly an interesting one. For the show's first five seasons, Becky was portrayed by Lisey Gorenson. However, Gorenson left the show to attend college, forcing the producers to write her character out of the show. Mom, let go. <laughs> However, the decision was eventually made to recast the role, and it was given to future TV star Sarah Chalk. Gorenson was then brought back for season 8, and both she and Chalk alternated episodes. Chalk then permanently took over the role for the show's ninth and initially final season. Then, when they brought Roseanne back over two decades later, Gorenson reprised her role as Becky, who became a surrogate for Chalk's Andrea. So are you gonna be there when Becky has sex with your husband or what? Mom? <laughs> they don't do it like that. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.